Today's a big, big game. It's against my old team, Peter EF. All right, team, welcome back to another video. Big episode today. We've got a massive, massive game in the league. And just to add a little bit more spice to it, it's against my old team, Petia EF. It's a big game, going to be a big video. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let's jump straight into it. But the first thing we need to do is we need to head to training. Training bag is packed. It's the day before the game, so it's going to be a pretty light session. Little bit grim outside, a bit rainy, but let's go get the final session in and get ready for the game tomorrow. So training done, nice and easy before the game tomorrow. A little bit rainy, but I enjoyed it. Good session, good to keep moving, good to work hard. We've got everything in place, ready for the game tomorrow. It's a big, big game, as I said before. I'll speak a little bit more about it tomorrow on game day before we head out. But right now, this evening, the plan is I've got a little bit of Greek yogurt. Well, it's actually Turkish yogurt. Turkish yogurt with some muesli, a little bit of honey. We've got Last Kingdom on the telly, but that's the plan this evening. Watch this, have a chill, and be fully rested, ready for a big game day tomorrow. Excited can't, for your mini eggs. I can't open them, but I'm very excited. Let us know your favorite Easter treats. Mini eggs, cream eggs. This isn't mine, by the way. Easter eggs. I like a um, Terry's chocolate orange. Also let me know if Terry's chocolate orange counts as an Easter treat. I'd say that's more Christmas than Easter myself. Both. It's in the shape of an egg, kind of. A squished egg. A squished egg. Game day. Oh, looking forward to this one. 
Today's a big, big game. As you saw from the last Keeping Goals episode, it's not been a great start to the season. You saw the Dalkurd game and what happened there. In the second game, we also suffered a defeat. Despite controlling the majority of the game, we somehow managed to lose 2-1 at home to Budin to another penalty and another unbelievable goal. Things are definitely not going our way at the beginning of this season, but we have to stay together and we need to put it right in this game today. And to add to that, it's against my old team, PTA EF. As you guys know, I had a lot of happy years at PTA, two and a half seasons at PTA. Still obviously have a lot of friends there, but in today's game, friendships go out the window. When you cross the white line, it means nothing. You'll give your all to win that game, to pick up those three points. After the final whistle, it'll be lovely to see people. But until that point, it's all focus on the game. One other nice thing that's happening is my dad's here this weekend, so that'll be nice and fun. Dad will come and watch the game, so will Frankie. We'll have our first Frankie cam of Keeping Goals Series 7. But right now, 10.30, we kick off at 2. It's a beautiful day for it, so we'll head out and head to the ground a little bit later on. Right, the bag is packed. We are ready to go. Franks? Yes? Are you excited for today's game? Yes. Yes? Yeah, I'm very excited. Today's going to be the first Frankie cam in Vassalund. Technically, are we showing them the video of the dog? Oh, uh, yeah. We didn't I film did. the last game, but... I got a picture of a video of a great little dog. Already. If you guys don't know this link, then <laughs> unlucky. You're missing out. Yeah, first official Frankie cam of the season today. No pressure. Mm. But it should be a good game. And it's in the sun as well. You can I finally wear four layers instead of five. <laughs> Beautiful day for it. Right, I'll bring you along, show you how we get on, and I will speak to you afterwards. Wish us luck. Let's go smash it. Till sin hjälp har Hebassadi och eh, Ahmed. Spelar i mitten men det är eh, väldigt... Eh, man till ett avslut ändå då, men i eh, inledningen på säsongen kommer ett avslut eh, rakt i magen på offensiv zon. Det är Gustav Nord med bollen. Vrider bort. Vasalunds försvaret försöker hitta bort ytan. Hårt inspel och till Trastat och där har vi väl 1-0 för Piteå. Mycket riktigt. Det är lite misskommunikation där mellan. Passerar snart halva första halvlek och här gästande Piteå som har gjort matchens enda mål. Det är djupet men Kifa kommer ut och... Nice. En bra chans men väldigt sparsamt annars. Kan man hitta på någonting här? Christian Moses på bort och då har vi ett, ett fint inspel av Christian Moses där. Och Samma brytningen och Insalem kan bort, men ändå då är det jättefin räddning av Tulit. Maripo som bryter. Och framåt spelar i djupet och då kommer man med fart. Nu har man Nord här. Nord och det är inte 2-1 för Pitt utan... Figueroa. Så är det med hemåtpass och då kommer ett läge för, Vas för Piteå och vänsterkanten. 
200 meter kommer man överlapp där. Mattias Boväng. Fint kombinationsspel och då har vi 2-1 för Vasalund. Vilket fint... Nu ställer Vasalund som kommer med ny fart och då är det... Pantelidis. Ja, man får inte undan den där och då är det... Läge för Pantelidis spelar själv i sidan men det är jättemiss utav... Igebäck. Så in med mot bort och det är ett fint inspel där men... Hults eh, sida. Väl kort för att få en bättre vinkel på det hela. Ja, där kommer det och det är eh, en riktig chans i andra läget. Vara vad som spelar är väldigt långt slagen hörna. Det är eh, Piteå i andra. Får man tillbaks bollen. Vigebäck som... Eh, Skickar ut den där till Nord, så det är det. Nytt och då kommer kanske läget här, men det är ju där det är stolpträff. Och så undan, och det är ett nytt jätteläge för... ...för Piteå precis när man nu blåser av matchen också, så... ...vi tar och... And we're back home. That was a tough, tough game. But we won. Three points. First three points of the season. Finally. And it might sound weird to say, but even though we were lost the first two games, that was the toughest game so far. A really, really tough game. Petia played really well, made it really difficult for us. It never felt like we had control of the game. It was so back and forth. A poor mistake on my behalf for the first goal. I should be dealing with that. I do deal with that normally. I just lost track of it, didn't deal with it properly, which put us in a difficult position. But the boys did so well to pull together, to come back from it, to get us 2-1 in ahead. And then it was a very tough last 20 minutes, making sure we defended, making sure we saw out the game. But a big, big three points. Hopefully that kicks us off. We start hitting a new level and we keep pushing forward. And it was actually really difficult to play. I didn't think it would be difficult but it was difficult playing against Petia. Very strange to be on the opposite team, to face so many of my old teammates, then lining up next to them going onto the pitch. Yeah it was very very strange and they got some great players as you guys know. So a tough game, great to see them at the end but even better to get the three points. That is the most important thing. So day after the game the sun is still shining and we've got a very very cool plan today because it's our day off, Sunday. But coincidentally, it's also a big day in Stockholm because one of the Stockholm derbies is happening today. AIK are playing against Hammerby. AIK's home ground is not too far away from where we live. So we managed to get tickets. Me, Franks, Dad, we're gonna go and mix it with the Ultras. Have you got your pyros ready? You got your chants ready? Yes. Your, fla your flares, your fireworks? I've got them all. Got them all? Yep. And keep them under wraps until we get in my and then sleeves. Let, let, let them off. But it'll be my first chance to watch an Alsvenskan game. I've never seen an Alsvenskan game before, live, in person. We're going to head over to Friends Arena, which is where AIK, or OIK, if you're from Sweden, play. It's also the National Stadium of Sweden, big stadium, about 50,000 capacity. And it's going to be pretty much full for a Stockholm derby against Hammerby. Looking forward to this. Should be really good fun. Uh, let's check it on them.
What do you think, Frank? Cool. Cool? Very big. We've somehow managed to be sitting right next to the Hammerby fans. Even though we've decided we're oh, I call. Yeah, I can. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're just going to have to be neutral, I think. <laughs> Happy for everyone. Just cheering everything. Every throw in. to AIK. What do you think, Frank? You enjoying it? I am enjoying it. You liked the Tifo, the big that was really design. Cool. Really, really cool. And the flares. And it was kind of you to lend your flares to the Hammerby fans. Well, you know, <laughs> I had no use for them. <laughs> you got a big stockpile. I did. Number 17 for AIK is a very good player. And the Hammerby goalies made some great saves. Uh, it's been a good game so far. 1 0. Dad? You enjoying it? Yeah, very good. Very good. Yeah, so we'll we'll say AIK doing well. Glad like we're in the AIK end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> or not. <laughs> so we'll see what the second half brings. Yeah. Game done, 2-0 to Oikor. Some good goals from the striker. Some not so dangerous play from Hammerby. Pretty comfortable in the end. Did you enjoy it, Frank? I did. You did? I did. Really Who was your favourite player? The um, number 17. Number 17. Dad, who was your favourite player? Yeah, 17 AIK. Hammerby wasted two free kicks at the end. Yeah, they did. It wasn't good. But the uh, fans were very cool. Yeah, fans were very We cool. had a pause because of too many fireworks. Twice. We had to tell them off a couple of times. But we finished it in the end, after 10 minutes added on. We got there. But a very good game to have yeah. our first Alsvenskan experience. Very enjoyable. Very cool. In the sun. In the sun. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like button. It helps us out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And share it with your mates. Tell someone else to join the Keeping Goals Union. This week's Patreon of the Week is Felix Egger. Felix, thank you for supporting us. Thank you for supporting the channel. We wouldn't be able to make these videos without patrons like yourself. So a massive, massive thank you. I'll see you next week for the next video as always. But look after yourselves. Keep chasing improvement. And I'll speak to you in a bit. <laughs>